Hello everyone, this is Ace Stocky here, and welcome to a, another episode of my Ace Stocky Pack Let's Play for Minecraft 1.2.5. As you can see here, this is a beautiful little house equipped with table, chest, crafting table, super skylight that gives you an awesome view of the towers, and this was created by, sorry if I say this wrong, Hayorki, who was, other than the Ace Stocky team, the first person to come on and play co-op with me, so thank you to him. That little building just there is always going to be a testament to the fact that he came on my server and joined me and had some fun, so once again, for anyone who would like to do that, in about a week's time I'm going to be doing it again, so hopefully when that comes up it'll make it available to everyone. Currently though I'm looking for some stuff. And there we are. What I want to do in this episode is I want to update my machine. So I want to replace this with an induction furnace, uh, this with a singularity compressor, this with a rotary macerator, and so the rotary macerator is item number 188. Let's go to 188 and see what's around there. 200, here we go, 188, you've got rotary macerator, singularity compressor, centrifuge extractor. So those are the different things that I want to make. And what I might start by doing, is I might start by making an induction furnace. Actually, I have an even better idea. I am just not going to have enough power at the moment to be able to do really anything with all those extra machines running, constantly draining my power. So I am going to start by making myself uh, two more of these water power mills and I have totally forgotten how to make them so you'll have to bear with me for a few seconds I need to make generators two of generators okay that should be easy enough where's my iron? there's my iron I need to find some coal and while I'm actually doing that, I might charge my drills and my chainsaw. Because with no charge, they're basically useless to me. Okay, steel, 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 steel. Lots of coal, but no steel. Steel. There we go. Perfect. Okay, there's my machine block. Now I need enough cobble to make a furnace. Or I could just take the furnace that I've made before. Now I need a hair battery, which is four tin that I prepared earlier, apparently. Although I don't remember doing it. I must have done that a while ago. So we need four pieces of tin, one copper cable, two pieces of redstone, and then battery, machine block, furnace. That gives me my generator. Now I need some... Uh, wooden planks and I need some sticks um, I know like two seconds ago I saw a whole lot of sticks there they are so I now put a piece of wood in each corner and then a stick in between and then a generator in the middle and then I swap all of these because I had them in the wrong order there we go, and that gives me two water mills. Now I need two pieces of waterproof iron piping and two buildcraft tanks. So there's my iron piping. Where is my pipe waterproof? Maybe I don't have any. That's just fine if I don't have any. I've got to come down here to get my glass to make my tanks anyway, so while I'm doing that I can just cook this stuff up. Uh, because I've updated my pack again, I've had to put the difficulty back to hard, but I forgot to turn off the IC2 sounds. There is always something you forget. There we go, there's my two tanks. There's my two pieces of waterproofing. Now I put those waterproofing above those. So there's waterproof pipe water mill, tanks. That gives me two water strainers. 
Now I need two more pieces of copper cable. And I should now be ready to go. So let's see if we can make this produce some more power. Aha, uh -huh, I'm going to need at least one more piece of waterproof cobblestone pipe as well. And I think I have one of those. Perfect. Down. Okay, so that should fill up with water now. And then we place one water strainer, two water strainers. And then let's put that cabling there. And now we should be producing power twice as fast as we were previously. Just want to... I like the idea of being able to see to make sure that I'm getting enough water to all my machines. It certainly looks like it's going okay there, so... Now what was I going to do? I was going to make an induction furnace. We need an induction furnace. So I need an electric furnace, an advanced machine, and some copper. Let's start by making this. Two carbon plates, a machine block, and two advanced alloys. Uh, how do we make carbon plates? We need coal. So, um, need eight pieces, I believe. I'm going to be back in a second. Okay, so everything is way better with the sounds off. So, I'm going to need to also make now some advanced alloys. And to make that, I'm going to need copper, refined iron or steel, and I'm going to need tin. So, don't think I'm going to have quite enough to make... Actually, you know what? It's not copper I need, it's bronze that I need. So I'm going to need tin dust and copper dust. I don't actually know how much I'm going to need. Why is that not working? Because that's silver dust, not copper, not tin dust. Hmm. Nope, that's iron dust. Looks like I have no tin dust. Nope. Nope. So unfortunately there's no way to get around the fact that I'm going to need to do this now. But what I will show you is by placing those four pieces of coal dust together, you get a raw carbon fiber. And when you place two raw carbon fibers together, you get one thing that you put in a compressor to make that plate. So I'm going to need to put another eight in. Totally having trouble now working out how many I need. So I'm going to pause the video and come back once that's done something. So back soon. Okay, welcome back. I have just done my other pieces of coal. So you can see that by putting them like that, it creates those little fibery things. So now I have four of them. And you put two of them together. And you get raw carbon meshes. And you place those raw carbon meshes in the compressor and it will squish them up and compress them down. I also made a machine block while I was waiting to help speed things up a little bit. And I'm now macerating my tin. It's actually tin dust that I need. So, perfect. So place the tin dust down. And we place the copper dust next to it and that gives us bronze dust. Bronze dust. And Cooking up that bronze dust will give us bronze ingots. There's my first carbon plate. Beautiful. So I'm thinking, because this seems to be the slow point, the actual macerating of things, I'm not going to make an induction furnace. I'm going to try and make a rotary macerator. So that needs refined iron, a macerator, and an advanced machine block. Hopefully... I'm going to have enough 
refined iron to be able to do this. But I still need to make that advanced machine block, so we put down... I think I'm going to run out of coal. So we need three of those. So we need three of those, three of those, and three tin. And that gives us two mixed, mixed metal ingots. We place those in, and that will compress down to an advanced alloy plating. Now I have four steel ingots. Unfortunately for me, four steel ingots is not enough steel ingots. I actually need, uh, I believe it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you know what? It could actually be that this has to be refined iron. There's some recipes where steel won't work, and I think advanced machines are one of them. So I'm going to cook that iron up there and turn it into refined iron. And there's my first advanced alloy plate, and there's my second. So now we can place those two together, place our machine block in the center, place the carbon plates on either side, and now we have our advanced machine block. Up to three, just need that to cook for a little bit longer. And very soon I'm going to have this super fast machine. Ready? Perfect. Where's my... there it is my drill, my chainsaw, but as everybody knows we don't just go and drill those things. We take an electric wrench, we set it for lossless mode, and then we go BAM. Uh, seriously? How, can, how hard can it be, really? There we go. Now we should have... There we go. So we place our refined iron. We place our advanced machine block. We place our macerator. And we get a rotary macerator. Now, rotary macerators by themselves aren't that good because they start at zero RPM. But... You need one piece of cobblestone. So now... Actually, this is the first time I've had it, the opportunity for it to be night to check over here to see if this is keeping mobs from spawning. And I'm not hearing the village getting attacked, so I'm thinking that I've fixed up those problems I was having. So that's a good thing. So now we come down and we shift click to place the lever on the front. Flick the lever and you can see now that it's spinning itself up. So once, while it's actually spinning itself up, it's actually draining power. But these things here are thankfully putting power back in as fast as it's draining. And... I need something to to macerate to demonstrate the raw speed of this machine. Um, tin and silver, why not? Tin and silver. So it's still obviously not up to full speed now, but if you throw that in, you can see that it is substantially faster than a normal macerator. And not only is it substantially faster than a normal macerator, it uses much less power than an overclocked macerator. So while it's a bit harder to make than an overclocked macerator, it's kind of like the induction furnace of, uh, for macerators. So you'll see here that that thing is really flying along now and not using all that much power. I think it uses a bit over double the amount of power that a normal one uses. But I think once you have about three overclocker upgrades, it would use that amount of power anyway. So you can see here that it's really just churning through everything, which is just perfect. And it's still speeding up. So now I'm going to obviously need a lot more refined iron. So I'm going to have to go mining. But I'm aiming to do the extractor 
induction furnace and a compressor as well to have so three advanced machines. I think I'm actually going to call this an end of the episode. The main reason I wanted to get this episode up in a real hurry was because uh, IC2 control has updated. So because it's updated we are once again in the situation where the pack needed to update. So I have now updated the pack. So if you would like to go to the website and download the latest version of the pack, it is release uh, June 3rd, 2012. That particular re release version will have version 1.1.8 of IC2 nuclear control. And certainly that will be required when I do the next co-op, which will happen later on this week. So I'm just going to now waste the rest of my blocks to get myself up to the right height and actually you know what I'm just gonna finish this and then show you the view that you can get from up here totally forgot though if I don't do that that's gonna cause me lots of issues later I feel like this stack is still not going to quite be enough. But I do feel like I'm getting much closer. See, I'm up to 122 already. And my aim is to get to 128. So I'm almost at 120, well, if I follow my ladder, I am almost at 128 now. Four more levels to go, so that should be just one more stack of basalt and I think I'll be ready. Look at that view though. Wow, I didn't even realise there was oil over there. Big geyser of oil over there. Some nice ponds, some salt. Ah. I totally forgot to replant all those trees after hacking them apart playing multiplayer. There is the beautiful view from Hayoki's new little house. There's my house. There's my machines working themselves crazy trying to keep water flowing for my power. Nice little lagoon over there. Ooh, lonely bit of grass. Um, you can't quite make it out but there's my house. There's Spawn Island. And look at that. That is going to be a good sized village once I fill that thing in. I'm thinking I might be able to fit one, two, three, four, maybe another six houses in the village. Yeah, I think this is going to be awesome. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Please download the latest version of the pack and update your install to the latest version. Hey, stocky out. Hello everyone and welcome back just really quickly. This is a bit of a, I guess, a postscript to my last video. Uh, P.S. The rotary macerator is now at full speed. Watch this baby go. Look at that. And it's not even using... Oop, got to keep that thing cranked. It's barely even using any power. Uh, just ignore the fact that that's in cheat mode. I was testing some stuff up in my test world. The yeah, the thing is just amazing. It's fast. It's Well, it's it's super awesome. So... Again, thanks very much for watching. Hey, Stocky out.